I'm Mayor Margaret Quirk, and welcome to Service Georgina. This show is designed to bring you information about the various departments and programs and facilities that we offer here through the town of Georgina. We've been working through the various departments, and today we're talking about our libraries. And we're fortunate to have with us today Dave Harvey, who's the Director of uh, Library Services, and Joel Sutherland, who's a Children and Youth Librarian. Welcome to you both. Great to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. And first of all, I want to welcome you to Georgina, Dave. You've only been with us uh, a few months. How are things settling in for you? Oh, I'm learning uh, where everything is and uh, who's who and what's what and uh, slowly acclimatizing myself to Georgina. Well, good. Welcome. Now, I know um, people ask me, why do we have libraries anymore? With the Internet, all the information is out there. So are public libraries still relevant uh, in today's world? I think even more so today in this age of fake news and oh, yeah. uh, alternative facts, it's, it's very important to have a place where you can go and get credible, um, in, uh, real information. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trained as professional librarians to help people find the information they need. The internet, you may find all kinds of things on the internet, mostly cat videos. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's um, all true if it's, it's on the internet, right? It's not necessarily true and it's badly organized, so right. we can help you find stuff that you really need. And that's key. I mean, uh, if you're doing any research, whether it's on your family tree or whether it's on a school project or whether it's just you know, learning about uh, you know, uh, your next vacation spot, there's great ways to, to find the information, but it's knowing where to, to go and what to... Um, what to believe and what not to believe. And that's just one thing we do, of course. We're, we're not always about books or information. No. We're about programs, too. Exactly. And, and, and bringing people together to create and be collaborative and innovative and, and imagine things. So. And I know uh, it, you said it's not just about uh, about books. And, and it's, uh, it's a real meeting place, libraries now. It, they've always been. But I think back in the day when I was a child and you went to the library, it was a shh, don't talk, be quiet, sit there and quietly read a book. It's very different now, and when we get into Joel's area yes. of the mm -hmm. children and youth programming, we'll learn that uh, sometimes even Spider-Man makes a visit to the yeah, library. We are friends with mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Yeah, you are a close personal friend very with close. them. So. Mm -hmm. so now tell us a little bit about the libraries here in, in, uh, in Georgina. We have the, th the three branches. We have three branches. We have one in Pefferla, we have one in Sutton, and we have one in Keswick. Now, how many people typically, uh, how many residents are using our libraries annually? Our current stats show that 14,000 um, people uh, are current active users of the library. That's good. Now, That's very good. what sort of um, collections does the town offer? And you said earlier, it's not just about books oh, anymore. Oh. Well, we do have our books, and we have, we'll, we'll, books. we'll always, always have, have books. books. We'll always have books. So we have, you know, traditional books in print. We have large print books, but we have DVDs. We have books on CD. Uh, we have music CDs. Um, the, yeah, the e-books. The e-books, e uh, graphic novels are big now, Yeah, too. and I see even um, like DVDs, and you said, mm -hmm. like, I've seen board games. I was at the library recently, and a gentleman asked about uh, Chinese books, and we have uh, books in different languages uh, as well. Mostly French, yes. French. And we, we can access um, from other libraries through interlibrary loan service uh, those books in other languages that we don't have. Now, mm -hmm. libraries are, are funded by, by the town, but maybe explain sort of what uh, the percentage is and, and uh, there is other sources. Yeah. Currently, the, the town funds about 90% of the library's budget, and we get a little bit of money from the province, uh, the public library operating grant we get every year. Um, we have to do certain things to get that, fill out surveys and do paperwork, but it's always welcome money. And we also look after, uh, we go after any other grants that, we, that are available for us that um, might um, allow us to, to enhance services. Good, because I know uh, libraries are governed a little bit differently than, than other organizations. Maybe tell us a bit about that. So libraries in Ontario are, are um, governed under the Ontario Public Libraries Act, which establishes a board of trustees. So the council appoints the trustees to, to run concurrently with the term of council. council so currently we have, a, uh, we have a, a board of 10 members, uh, two of which are, are town uh, councillors. Right. But there's other opportunities if, if uh, people want to get involved with, uh, with the library. There's, there's ways in, that uh, people can get, uh, get active with the libraries even if they're not on the library board. Oh, sure. Um, they can always apply for the board when the board when comes up. Yeah, at, or at the a term position becomes over. available. Yes, that's true. And um, there's the Friends of the Library um, that are quite active, and they do fundraising um, events for us. Um, yeah, and if, if students would like to volunteer, we have that we opportunity have that option. for them. So they get their volunteer hours in. Right, and that, that's good to background for them mm -hmm. uh, as, as well. So Joel, tell us a little bit about some of the programs uh, offered through the, the children's uh, services. Right. Well, we have uh, programs running uh, throughout the week, our regular weekly programs from baby time for newborns uh, 
to preschool programs like Ready, Set, Kindergarten is very popular where uh, three to five year olds learn those first steps on how to adapt to moving into a school setting, how to uh, go into a classroom without mom or dad oh, walking important. in with them, yeah. that's right, and learning different social skills they'll need to be successful in school, uh, to school age programs and teen, teen programs as well. Do we have some study programs for kids? Because I've been to the library at times and seen, uh, you know, it looks like groups of uh, teenagers doing well, maybe we, a group project. There's certainly a lot of uh, tutors that use the public library as a meeting place mm -hmm. quite regularly. And then we'll see a lot of teens, particularly during exam times, using the libraries. Um, we have great study spaces right. where uh, kids uh, and, and teens and adults could come in and study together. The nice thing about uh, two of our libraries anyway, they are attached to other facilities. Um, with the, the Keswick branch mm -hmm. being right, right with the Ice Palace. I'm sure you get a few parents. So. Oh yeah, yeah, it's perfect for that. We have a lot of uh, families that come in and they often have an older child uh, skating or playing hockey, right. but then they have a younger kid or two as well that uh, would get really bored in the stands for right. a long period of time. So they definitely like to make use of the library to come in and just play and relax and read some books together, play with the toys we have out for them. Board games, board games you said, that, that type of you thing. can borrow at And the it's nice too. there's that uh, sort of informal area at the front with, you know, nice comfy chairs. Yeah, so you can kind of call that the lounge. The lounge Get a little area. coffee maker yeah. and, a, and a fireplace. Kind of it's very cozy there. and quiet. Uh, and then near my office in the back is the uh, the louder area where we have all the kids' toys and right. books, and it's it's quite fun and vibrant back there. It's too. nice, and, and you see all ages coming through the library. Definitely. I'm sure you have your regulars that come in and, you know, they come with their laptop mm -hmm. and sit down and, and spend entire days there at times. Yeah, it's you know. a very diverse mix, our, our customers mm -hmm. at the library uh, of ages and, and backgrounds and what people are coming to the library to use it for. You see people using it for such a wide variety of services. Right, and, and for many people it's it's a social networking where they, they meet up with friends there at the library and, and enjoy uh, a conversation yeah. and uh, you know use the free Wi-Fi mm -hmm. or use mm -hmm. the laptops uh, that are there. The other thing maybe we should mention is some of the um, uh, services that we do offer that maybe aren't book oriented in terms of people need things printed or, or photocopied. I believe we still have that ability. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah, which is nice because a lot of places don't have photocopiers anymore. And not everybody has a printer or you know what, mm -hmm. you're about to apply for that job, you're yeah. printing out the resume and what happens? You run out of toner. You that happens toner. all the time. All the the panic rush to the library to print out your resume to yeah, go to your to go interview. to your, your job yeah. interview. So That's it's what good we're here to, for. to know that uh, people have uh, have that resource. So I know um, we offer a lot of uh, programs and we offer things at different times of the year during March break and during the summer months. So tell us a little bit about maybe some of the, the March break or the sure. special programs. Yeah, March break is great. It's one of our busiest weeks of the year for sure. We call it March break madness. Yeah. Uh, in the best possible way, it's mad, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We often bring in a big special uh, guest. Last year we had Reptilia. Uh, they do a stage show with lots of live animals that the kids can get in and, uh, and interact oh, with. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that's always a big draw. Uh, so we're looking at special guests for this year for a big event, but we do a lot as well ourselves. A lot of craft programs, Lego programs, I know, movies, I've been at the, video games. The one in Sutton where they have uh, the Lego nights and, and very uh, popular yeah, in Sutton. Extremely we popular. We have a Lego room in Sutton yes. at the Peter Zaski Library. Yes, so it's it's great yeah. to to have that. I mean, who doesn't like you know? To build, and, and a lot of the parents love to do that with their kids still too. Oh yeah, they get right down the floor and it's start digging around all our like old Lego. Yeah, I need that's and, right. And yeah. they're building some pretty remarkable things. It's oh, nice yeah. to see the families interacting like that, not just nice. dropping off their kids, exactly, and expecting staying us there to entertain and, and them, but not just video games, but for, still having the exactly. kids, you know, work with their hands. Yeah, play build, with create. Legos and and yeah. uh, the. Uh, the library itself with the with the books. So right. I remember as a child, I'd go with my mom every Friday. We'd get our stack of books, and, <laughs> and I'd take them home and madly read them and yeah. get ready to go back next week. That's so, right. but libraries have changed so much, as you said. There, there weren't the, the programming that there that there is now. So it's it's mm -hmm. great to to have that. One of the things that we do and do really well is the Fan Fest. Mm -hmm. Maybe tell us a little bit about that the Fan That has been Fest. wildly successful, and I'm so happy with that because uh, it speaks to my heart for sure because I'm a big, uh, proud geek. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so two years ago, we started Georgina Fan Fest. It's our Comic-Con for families, and it's right. all free. There's no vendors there. There's nobody trying to push sales. Yep. Um, it's There's no charge to come. Uh, it's the first Saturday in April. Mm -hmm. And as I said, the, we'll be doing our third year uh, coming up real soon. 
And it's just been so wildly successful. We had over 800 people come the first year. I know. And last year I went and, and over, maybe tell us some of the, the, the care, like some of the yes. special guests. Mm -hmm. that that's right. Come. So that's the biggest draw is that we line up a lot of uh, famous characters to come and pose for photos with mm -hmm. kids and families. Uh, Spider-Man, you mentioned, yeah. he always swings into the library. Yeah. Uh, we had Batman and Superman. We had uh, video game characters like Super Mario and Luigi. And I think you had the, the New York Racial Police there. Yeah, and the, so not just the, the, the fictional the characters, department. the fictional heroes. We right. have real life heroes. So we had uh, Georgina Fire Department, York Region Police, uh, the York Region Health Department and quite a few other organizations that serve families in our community uh, there to interact with people and talk about what they do, to offer activities. The, the fire department even brought a fire truck, which they was They did, awesome. and yeah, I remember and the kids were- that was parked out from the library. Yep, they loved that, yeah. to, to so see we, that. So we had the fire truck, and then we had Darth Vader and three stormtroopers posed oh, right outside right. Yeah. for- There it were was a couple little kids so that cool. were kind of like reluctant, but the that's parents right. were going, yeah, go on, Get go in on. there, you need a picture with Darth yeah, Vader. Yeah, I think the, the parents wanted the picture with Darth Vader just as <laughs> much Probably. as, much exactly. as, uh, as uh, the, the kids. That's right. Now tell us, the, the library has a focus in, in this year um, telling our stories. Maybe give us a little bit of, about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, well, that'll David. be next year's theme. So we're going to be uh, promoting our collection and sharing that uh, with everyone because there's so many things that are that are uh, hidden gems, shall we say, uh, in our collections, both you know in print and digital. So we'll be doing that. And I hope to do, hold a uh, what's called a human library event. Oh. And that's when we bring people in the community um, that have stories to tell, and you can take the person, you can take them out for 15 minutes and talk oh, with really? them one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> so, like, check sort of, them out? Was there yeah. a late fee? Well, no, I don't know. We haven't talked about that, but uh, you can't leave them. You can't take them out of the library. No, okay, they have to stay there. They have to okay, stay well, in the that's, library. That's but that's that's one of the things we hope to be doing oh, next year as, as part of that whole um, telling our stories. That's interesting. So we're going to take a little break, and we'll come back because we have many more stories to to, to tell. So uh, join us. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute or two, and we'll come back and we'll have some more conversation with uh, with the two gentlemen from the libraries. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. I'm Mary Margaret Quirk, and I'm talking today about libraries here in the town. This is Service Georgina, and we're learning all about the programs and services that our three branches offer. Um, Dave Hardy is uh, the uh, director, and we've got Joel Sutherland uh, mm -hmm. on children's programming. Dave, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the library boards, and we mentioned the library board mm -hmm. earlier, but the strategic plan that they're uh, that they're working on and, and, and unrolling and working through. So they, the, the plan has five main kind of goals. Uh, the first one is connecting with the community. The, sorry, connecting with the community. So, getting the library out, talking with other agencies, um, building relationships and partnerships with them to promote and to help solve some some issues that our communities are facing. So, so give me an example of, of that. What would uh, what would be an outreach to a local organization? Local organizations, um, such as a um, there's a transportation working a task force that's right. looking at the problems of um, the, the transportation and what the impact is on. Um, our services oh, and different okay. agencies within um, the community, such as the food pantry, right, um, and the training, um, the, uh, the training outfit, right, the GTTI. G yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. that's okay. You're, you're yes. still I'm filling still learning, yes. us, I have to the acronyms. acronyms down. And then we've got roots connecting community, which exactly. I'm sure is exactly, and they're involved in that group too. Mm -hmm. So we're all talking about how we can collaborate and and leverage each other's, um, you know, uh, programs and services. Okay, good. Because as you know, people usually don't just have one problem, they have a number of different issues. Right, um, right. So, so what else in the strategic plan are we working on? So the next one would be um, uh, spaces, so creating warm and inviting flexible spaces for um, patrons to come in and use our facilities, mm -hmm. so that's an important focus. And certainly we have a challenge where we have three library branches mm -hmm. um, serving, uh, you know, we have a very large spread out uh, community. 
um, some of the same issues, but I'm sure there's there's different issues uh, as well with each of the, the branches in terms of uh, those spaces. They are. They are three different branches serving three different kind of areas. So um, of course Pfeffer Law is a little more rural. Um, our Sutton branch is attached to two schools. Right. So that changes the dynamics. Oh, it sure does. And a pool. Very much. And a pool, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and our Keswick branch, of course, is um, Keswick is a different community right. also. So different flavors um, and different um, things that we need to do to, okay. to uh, meet those needs. What else is on the plan? Um, programs and collections, so mm -hmm. focusing on those, developing those. Our programs are, are quite good for, already for, for children and, and youth, so we're going to continue to develop and promote those and, and build on our, our adult programming. Now, do you reach out to the public to find out like what they're wanting, what's missing in, in programming, uh, what they would like to see at the libraries? Yes, always. Mm -hmm. um, there's always that constant feedback we're looking for. New ideas are always welcome, so there's always things we can do. Now the next one I've got down here is that we've got technology, so that's yes. a huge issue area. Digital literacy has become much more important in our world, so um, we want to have um, technology in the libraries to help promote that within the community. Mm -hmm. So we've got, uh, the libraries are, uh, have Wi-Fi, so you can we go do, in. We do, we have Wi-Fi. But we also have the, the laptops if people want mm -hmm. to don't have their own, they can, they can utilize that. But so many of our services are now digital. That's so right, So e-books. E so if you don't know how to use your tablet or your device to download an e-book, you're missing out on a large portion of our collections. About 20% of our collections are now digital. And based. we share collections with other, how we does do. that work maybe? We are um, engaged with a number of provincial consortiums um, that allow us to leverage the buying power of pretty much every public library in Ontario to build a, a digital collection. So That's we're amazing. all sharing books among each other. Um, and also, we are also able to buy um, titles just for our, our Georgina patrons. Oh, OK, good. So we so won't share with anybody share. else. It's like, these are ours. But, and, yeah. but that's, and yeah. that's fair, too, because mm -hmm. you know some areas could just consume our, our mm -hmm. library and, mm -hmm. and overwhelm it and, and not have anything available for our patrons. But it's nice to know that we can reach in, and, and the ones they feel they can share with it. Yeah, so some of the most popular so. titles can be borrowed instantaneously well, without yeah. having to wait that's for a, a nice. Holidays. That's a nice thing. Now, the last thing I've got on the list here is people in leadership. So we need to build our capacity within our organizations and um, promote um, our people, uh, make sure they have the talents and the skills required to meet the needs, uh, uh, our, our library needs within our communities. So I know we have a number of full-time and part-time library staff uh, you know, that, that run out of the, the three libraries. Do, do we mm -hmm. share them between, or is somebody dedicated in, in each library for functions? They can move around between branches. Some sort of do stay within their own branch, but they, they do have the, we do have the option of, of um, make, or getting them to go to other branches, branches. when required. But um, our, um, we're, we're actually blessed to be having um, in this, uh, our system, um, professional librarians with uh, master's degrees master's in library degree. science. So um, that, that's not something you see a lot of in, in um, uh, libraries now. Yeah, that, that's this, nice of, to of have. this size. So, right. yes. so it's good. So you mm -hmm. came into a well run, yes. organized mm -hmm. operation. Yes. Good. Um, going back to you, Joel, can you tell me more about the library pro programs? We've talked about some yeah. of the the uh, youth programs, but I know there's right. a lot there for, for adults and teenagers as well. Yeah, so uh, for teenagers, we do rely a lot on our teen advisory group uh, called TAG, who uh, meet weekly on Tuesday nights at the library oh, in really? Keswick. So is that? That's how they're in their community hours, and oh, okay. uh, they, they help in so many ways. I couldn't even begin to say how much <laughs> they do for us, but uh, one of the key ways is letting us know what they and their friends would be interested in doing in the library. Instead of me and my staff, uh, of adults right. sitting back and saying, this is what we think teens would like to do. You listen we to the teens. We listen to them. What do you want to do? What would you actually enjoy to do? Because I know we got a, a 3D printer. There was a Correct. lot of activity mm -hmm. around that. Yeah, that's a lot of it. fun. Uh, teens love to design like Minecraft characters, watch them be printed out, or you know, Pikachu and yeah, different all those things, things like that. But we also fun. do uh, like video games and different. Yeah. A lot of video game tournaments for teens, movie nights for teens. Uh, and, and, and we, we do a regular program called uh, Teen Locked In, where... Uh, I've, I've seen that on Facebook. It's fun, because we, how, we, how we do it after work? hours. Um, so the teens come in when we've, uh, after we've closed, 
And, uh, and again, they let us know what they would like to do, whether it's a paint night, uh, a food hack challenge, uh, or even we've done Nerf dart battles in the library. <laughs> well, how cool <laughs> is that? Yeah, definitely when we're closed. Definitely yeah, when you're closed. Yes, <laughs> but lots of fun. Um, you mentioned also adult programming, yeah. so although I don't uh, oversee that, uh, some of the highlights are uh, at all three of the branches, we have book clubs that meet monthly. Uh, that are always looking for new members to join, if you're looking to okay. join a, a book club. Um, there's also paint nights. I mentioned the teens yes. enjoy doing it, but mm -hmm. adults love doing it too. So that's been very successful, running paint nights in the libraries. We'll continue to do that. Uh, I would recommend people check our website and give us a call yes. to find out when yeah. the next one's coming up. Uh, computer courses were mentioned I was just gonna say, too. Yeah, yeah very important. popular as well. So we do computers uh, for beginners as well as social media courses. Uh, which That's a good idea. Yeah. Learning yeah, about uh, Facebook, the technology. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, a lot of adults and seniors uh, are learning uh, to use these new social platforms now. It's a way for them often to connect and stay in touch with their family, with their grandkids, etc. <laughs> and I think so. you had, I saw one recently, uh, Meet the Author Night, too, you yeah, had. Yeah, we did. And uh, mm -hmm. we had, so we occasionally do have authors come in and do talks as well. So um, the other thing I'd like to just mention quickly, too, on this note is that uh, if anyone in the community uh, was uh, interested in a, a uh, specific topic they'd like to see explored in the library, right. please let one of the branch librarians know, uh, in one of the three branches, let us know uh, what you'd be interested in seeing or doing in the library, as well as we're always looking for uh, experts in the community mm -hmm. that are willing to share, share their, their expertise, expertise and their passion yeah. and come in and maybe lead a discussion or a program or a workshop for other adults as well. Because I know I've seen um, crocheting and knitting. Yeah, there's the mm -hmm. knitting group. The knitting that group, and that's not regularly. sort of run by the library, no. but it's a. It's it's a it's a partnership. It's a partnership, where partnership where yeah, that they utilize that, that space. Uh, and yeah, use the space, and uh, and you know we want to see what the community wants out of the library, right. and try everything we can. And to as we said that. earlier, mm -hmm. libraries are more than just books, and and all you you have. To, it's easy to understand that if you just sit in that lounge area, the Keswick branch, That's right. and and for you know. 10, 15, 20 minutes, an hour even, yeah. and you see the variety of people coming in and, and utilizing it. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the big programs that's been operating the last couple summers is a summer reading club, and maybe yes. give us some, some information on that. Yeah, it's definitely our busiest time uh, for children's and youth programming. Uh, so when the kids are at school, of course, instead of just sitting around home all the time, we try and fill the gaps, exactly, coming to their parents saying how bored they are all the time. I never uh, said that at home. There was no. always a chore to be done. I looked on a farm. <laughs> That's right. As soon as you tell your parents that, oh, they'll yeah. find something. They'll find something for yeah. you. Do. So don't say that. Yeah, don't smart. say that. <laughs> um, so we offer incentives for kids to, uh, to read, continue reading throughout the summer. And it's reading for pleasure. They're reading fun books, comics, magazines. They keep track in a notebook we provide with them, provide uh, them at the beginning of the summer and uh, when they hit certain targets certain goals they earn some really cool prizes oh, nice. yeah so they come back in they earn their prize my mm -hmm. staff and I get really excited about talking with the kids about what they're reading uh, do you have competitions with the schools too? Is we, so my we staff, did that one time yeah, or? so there is a competition. Uh, we go out every June and visit all of the schools in Georgina and do an, uh, an assembly presentation, get them all fired up to participate. And at the end of the summer, we uh, tally all the stats and um, find out which school had the highest percentage of completion. So uh -huh. not just how many kids they had signed, signed up, up but, how, but many? how many actually reached the, the main goal. And, uh, and we do it based on how how many uh, kids are enrolled in that school? So mm -hmm. the smaller schools have a fighting chance okay, against that's the bigger a good schools. Percentage, yeah. yeah, and uh, and then that winning school gets uh, their their uh, plaque engraved on our nice. trophy. Yeah, a nice really big trophy that will stay mm -hmm. in the school's trophy case for the year. And uh, we've even been giving kids medals and certificates nice. at another special assembly in the fall to reward them. It's really to good to encourage them. the kids to, oh, to yes. read because that's yeah. where the, the knowledge mm -hmm. is and yeah. to yeah. go on to high school and post-secondary. And it's great to see those kids that love to read, uh, you know, being recognized for their reading. But mm -hmm. it's also great to see how many kids, uh, you know, start reading because of a program like this. Right. Uh, so they want that prize. They yeah. want to help their they school see, win a trophy. Sibling. Exactly. Yeah. And I hear that time and again from parents. Uh, my son or my daughter 
couldn't read a book before, wasn't interested, never no. picked one up on their own, and now wow. they can't read, they can't wait to read for another 5, 10, 15 minutes a night Good. to try and get That's those great. goals. Yeah. Good to hear. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the library's hidden gems? Because that, give me a list here, and there's some yeah. interesting things here. Well, yes, there are just so many. Uh, <laughs> well, Overdrive is our ebook platform, right. so people can download on their devices um, any type of book they want, uh, or a downloadable audio book. Right. And it's once again, I've tried the audio books, but I fall yeah. asleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not good. And all you need is a, is, a, is a library card, so it's free. So just get, get a library card to so come in. Uh, we have a number of online resources, which um, I don't think people know we, we have, and they're blown away when we have them. Um, a lot of people are doing uh, looking at their ancestry, uh, their genealogy. So we have um, Ancestry Library Edition. So people can come in instead of paying how much it ever it is. I know we're, my husband and I are members. So you can yeah. come to the library, and you have to use it at the library, unfortunately. That's okay. And, That's okay. and you can search all that for, for for free once again. Just have a library card. Nice. Well, that's good. Other other. Let's see. We've got um, other ways for residents to get involved in the library. We've mentioned the library board, but is there other ways that people can volunteer? The the friends of the library comes to mind. The friends of the library are very active and very supportive. I think just um, November they had a, a Victorian high tea. That's right, I missed a, that. Which was so. a great fundraiser for us. Um, also, they, um, they do the great grown-up spelling that's, bee. Yeah, that's which, always a good, yeah. a good thing. I haven't seen, so I'm really interested in seeing how <laughs> it's all going to work. That out, but, yes. but thank you, too, for, for joining me today. This is wonderful, and I think we, it's good information for the residents. So get out to those libraries. Uh, the town has the three of them. Thank you for, for joining me today. I'm Mayor Margaret Quirk, and this has been Service Georgina, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's good. That's a great program. That's a good program. That's a good program.